Quitting porn can be hard. You probably know this because you've probably relapsed from time to time. And while I think that a relapse is not the end of the world, I like to talk about this. I've talked about this in a lot of previous videos. I always say, you know, a relapse doesn't mean that all progress is lost. Pick yourself back up and keep going. It is also true that a lot of people simply have some habits in their life. They, they have some things they do that makes them relapse more often than they have to. Number one is that you put yourself in the wrong environment. Try to think of it like this. Let's say you're losing weight, but you have your favorite food, your favorite snacks, which is like a junk food, cheeseburgers, lying right in front of you on your desk, like literally in front of you where you're sitting. How hard is it for you to actually lose weight in that scenario? It's going to be incredibly hard, right? Now imagine this. Imagine that you are trying to quit porn, but you have the porn lying right in front of you on your desk. Well, guess what? You do. You do have that 24 seven. Whenever you are sitting in front of your computer, the porn is just two clicks away. Whenever you are, wherever you are, you have your phone in your pocket and the porn is just two taps away. And now, yes, there is a very strong argument you can make about controlling your urges. A lot of people like to say, well, you know, you ideally want to get to that point in your life where you don't have to avoid the junk food but you can actually lose weight while you have the junk food in the house. You can just make the decision not to eat it. And ideally you would not want to install something like a website blocker because you would ideally want to control yourself. And yes, true, 100% true. In fact, I am at that point in my life, both when it comes to losing weight and when it comes to quitting porn, because I've done both. But at the same time, the scientific literature is 100% clear on the fact that when you are in the initial stages of trying to change, trying to unlearn a bad habit, trying to learn a new good habit, it fucking helps to give yourself a helping hand to not have the junk food lying right in front of you and to make sure that you do something like install a website blocker that prevents you from going to these websites. Over time, you will get to that point where you no longer need to avoid buying the junk food. You no longer need to have that website blocker installed all the time. But right now, if you're, if you're trying to quit and you're struggling, these things sure as hell can help you. Another thing that I think you should understand is that it's not just about actually like actively installing a website blocker, but, it has, but that it has a lot to do with your habits as well. Because you'll probably find that a lot of the time you have certain habits, like for example, and this is not just an example, but this is like the main one. You are browsing the internet, you are browsing your favorite website, or you are browsing social media, and you find that doing these things triggers your urges. And so when you think of environment and you know not doing the, the, the things, don't just think about like literally your environment and not literally having the porn in front of you but think about your habits as well. Try to recognize what environment habits you are doing, what environment you are putting yourself in digitally that is triggering your urges. And you know, if, if social media is triggering your urges, which it probably is, take some responsibility for yourself and don't do these things all the time. Maybe completely quit doing them. Maybe just don't do them at the times that you are weak. That's something that you're going to have to decide for yourself, but take a good critical look at the habits that you do as well. Try to identify what habits trigger your urges and don't, don't just keep doing them all the time. Number two, <laughs> your reason to do NoFab sucks. I often ask people that ask me questions and then I ask them a question back and I say, so why exactly are you doing NoFab? And one thing that a lot of people say is, well, you told me that, that watching porn is bad. I watched a video of you that said porn was bad, so that's why I'm doing no fab. Or people say, my religion told me that is bad. But, but then whenever I ask them, okay, so yeah, that makes sense, but why exactly does your religion tell you that it's bad and do you agree with that? And then like, 99% of the time, well, it's not that I actually have a sample size of a couple hundred, but m most of the time, people are like, well, I, I don't know. 
I don't know why my religion says it's bad. It just says it's bad. And, and, and I don't know if I agree with that because I don't even know why it says it's bad. And you have to realize that this is like the worst reason to do something ever. If someone just tells you it's bad and you don't even know why it's bad, that's like literally the worst reason to do something ever. And even if you do know why it's bad, if you saw like one of my videos or another nofab video online and you were like, hey, that makes sense, you know, the whole dopamine thing and the whole sexual preference thing, that makes sense to me. I guess porn is bad. I guess I'm going to have to quit it. Even that isn't a very good reason. Sure, it is nice to know that something's bad for you so you can look, start to make the decision that this is something you might not want to continue doing, but it should not be all that is driving you. Try to think of it like this. Let's say you have two people that want to quit smoking and this one person, he wants to quit smoking because other people told him that smoking gives you lung cancer. And he's like, yeah, Makes sense, you know, I believe that, I, I trust the science. I guess that smoking is bad for you, so I might not want to do it. But he struggles to quit smoking, because at the same time, it's like, he knows that it's bad for him, but he just, he doesn't really know why, but he just keeps doing it. And then the other person is this 18 year, no, he's younger, he's 16. He's a 16 year old, not so wise kid, he smokes but he has a lifelong dream to become an athlete. And suddenly, when he ages one year up, he becomes a lot wiser than he was at 16, because now he's 17. And he starts to think to himself, wait a second, my lifelong dream is to become the best athlete in the world. If I quit smoking, I become a hell of a better athlete than I can be if I continue smoking. And so he's like, well, I'm going to quit smoking because that's what I want. And this guy has no trouble to quit smoking because the difference is the first person just had the negative motivation and the second person had this thing that he was actually hyped about, this thing that he could actually work towards. And this is the thing that you, like with any type of, of habit change that you always see, like the, re, the best reasons to do something is a positive reason. This is why you see a lot of people that can't lose weight because these people just try to lose weight because oh yeah, being fat is unhealthy, being fat is bad for you. But the people that are successful at losing weight, these are the people that are like, I want to become one sexy motherfucker. I want to get a perfect fucking body. And as, as sometimes this is a superficial goal, but it doesn't matter because any positive goal is going to give you more motivation than a negative goal. And so you have to make sure that you get like the same type of goal when it comes to nofap. You shouldn't just do nofap because you've learned that watching too much porn is bad for you, but you should have that something that inspires you as well. Something positive. Like it can be anything. It can be like, I want to become more successful. I want to become better at sex, whatever it is. Something positive will always be better than something negative. Number three, and this one might just be the most important one of them all, because this is like a, if, if you don't have this one, nothing's going to work, which is you have probably failed to address the real underlying issue. There are probably things in your life, things, maybe you have traumas from the past. Maybe you are feeling depressed. Maybe you are feeling very lonely. And these things keep pushing you back towards your addictive behavior. And as long as you do not try to actually address these things and actually try to figure out what they are and try to fix them, then no amount of tips and tricks is ever going to be enough. You need to go to the underlying issue. Now, someone who specializes in helping men find these causes fast and effectively is Josh Hudson, from Pinnacle of Man. Let's hop to Josh himself so you can see how you can do this. How you doing? My name is Josh Hudson. I'm a licensed therapist with over eight years, is it eight years? Going on nine years of experience helping thousands of men quit porn for good. And the reason why this is so impactful to me is because that habit almost made me take my own life. So I wanna get right to the value for you. So I'm gonna show you on the chart something that you go through in this cycle 
just as much as every other guy and how to get out of it. So let's check that out. All right, so let's show you what this model looks like. Now, anywhere in this cycle, I've seen every single guy, you can't avoid this cycle when it comes to PMO. All right, so first things first, let's start with you know, consuming or watching PMO in the first place, right? So let's say you start there. Now immediately, every single guy feels a certain type of emotion after your relapse, right? What is it? For you, it's either guilt, it's shame, it's just feeling regretful, it's feeling low vibration level emotions, okay? So let's just say shame, because for a majority of you, that's the main underlying core emotion, which is big brain over here. It's really important that you know the core emotion. We'll get that to, we will get to that in a second. So, but after you feel these low level emotions, do you wanna go outside, say what's up to that cute girl, or go interact with people? No, you wanna isolate yourself, you wanna go away, you feel bad, you feel awful, you don't wanna be around others. So that leads to the next one, which is the sense of isolation that you experience. Now, actually a study showed that isolation and loneliness was more damaging to your health than if you smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. That's how bad isolation is. We are social creatures. We flourish when we're around others, okay? But when you isolate, that's what leads to depression, that's what leads to anxiety, and overall, that's what leads to cognitive stress, okay? Cognitive stress. We'll just say stress right here, okay? Now, when you're stressed out, when you're anxious, or you're feeling depressed, tell me how you relieve that emotion. What activity do you do? Maybe it's other things, but one of the things that majority of men do who are in this cycle, they go right back to the one thing that damages them in the first place. Now you can see how this whole entire vicious circle repeats and repeats and repeats until you go to your metaphorical hell. And that's why I had a client say to me one time, he says, Josh, watching porn was like a demon entering into my soul every time I opened that laptop. It was that portal for demons to enter into my soul. So what do you do? Well, look, man. You have to find the source of your urges because things like cold showers, right? Things like, I don't know, meditation. They're, all these things that you've tried, they're good. They help. I'm not saying they don't help, all right? But the thing is, I want you to, let's draw a little metaphor. I want you to imagine right now, there's like this water dripping down on the top of your head from the ceiling. Just dripping down, dripping down. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna get some duct tape and put it over. And that water dripping down is equivalent to the energy of an urge. And that duct tape are these things. It's the cold showers, it's the meditation, it's everything else. What's gonna happen over time where the water builds and builds and builds? All that energy, that urge that you're pressing, it's gonna explode and you're gonna relapse every single time and that's why you do. But instead, when you use the HCT technique, which I'll show you about in a second, what that does is you go to the source of the urge. You go to the source of where that water leak is. You fix it at the source and the leak stops, the urge stops, and you stop watching porn. You exit out of this whole entire cycle. And the way we do this, HCT goes to the source of the urge. It deals with the core levels of shame. It helps you connect with other men in the group. And it also helps you give you positive habits day by day to reduce the amount of urges and stress and triggers you have. So finally you quit this for good. Now the best way to apply the HCT technique is to join my program, the Dopamine Discipline Program. When you go through this program, all those things that I addressed, the shame, we go to that shame, that source of that core problem that creates those urges, and we eliminate that. We give you a group of other men to connect with, to support you and hold you accountable day by day. And we also have licensed coaches and myself doing group calls and also individual 24 seven support through the Facebook group. This is the most comprehensive, best program in the world to quit porn. And all the results you're seeing pop up on the screen are proof of that. We have literally over a thousand men who have joined this program and are quitting porn every single day. So if you want to finally do something different, and stop doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, to finally grab back your life, to become the man you are meant to be, to achieve the goals you're supposed to, find the woman you're supposed to, it's on the other side of this habit. Now, if you want to join this program, Rob's gonna show you exactly how to do that. Thanks, Josh. Yes, I will. Guys, I wanted to say, 
When I started this YouTube channel, I sort of set a rule for myself that I would like to maintain my integrity. I always told myself I am never going to promote any products that I could have not just randomly promoted when there wasn't anything in it for me. You know, I, I, I never want to promote anything for just the sake of getting money. I only truly want to promote things that I think can genuinely help people out on the aspect that I'm trying to help people with. Now, when it comes to this program, I've actually had the privilege of checking out the program myself. I actually went through the program myself and I genuinely think that this is something that can help people. If you are someone that is constantly struggling to quit porn, it just doesn't seem to work for you and you think that perhaps you could use a helping hand, then this program might definitely be a solution to you. It's very simple. I have a link in the description of this video. I'll leave a link in a pinned comment as well. If you think that this is something that can help you out, then I really recommend that you check out these links.